Hey, what is up, YouTube? Thank you very much for tuning into my channel, Lando Tech. And boy, have I got some interesting news for you. Many of you may already know about the gene editing tool named CRISPR. It can do things like remove particular genes from a subject to make them less susceptible or even immune to certain diseases. Some of you may recall the Chinese scientist who used this technology to create a pair of twin babies that are resistant to HIV. Well, apparently Harvard scientists have created a tool that can possibly rival CRISPR. The tool enables researchers to carry out millions of genetic experiments simultaneously by using a technique known as the RLR technique or the Retron Library Recombinering Technique. Even though CRISPR is the most well-known gene editing tool, it does come with its limitations. For one, it can be difficult to deliver CRISPR-Cas9 materials in large numbers. And secondly, the technique can be harmful to cells because when CRISPR-Cas9 enzymes are cutting strands of DNA, it at times cuts strands that were never meant to be targeted. But with the introduction of Harvard's RLR technique, gene editing can be done without damaging the native DNA and they can be used to perform multiple experiments at once. Now, I'm far from a geneticist and I've probably butchered the explanation of the RLR technique so, if you want a proper explanation as to how the RLR technique works, then check out my description below. I've posted a link to the Harvard article that discusses this achievement. But I want to hear from you guys in the comments. If gene editing does become widely available, would you edit the genes of your unborn child to make them resistant to disease? Or do you feel that modifying a person's genes today may cause unexpected consequences in the future? Let me know in the comments. Thank you very much for watching my video guys. If you found this helpful, please click the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe by clicking my logo at the bottom right of this video. Don't forget to click the notification bell to be notified when I drop a new video.